Okay, so someone was asking in the forums if uh, anyone knew any good uh, sniping spots. And I think I have quite a few, so I want to contribute this. Uh, this video is not made to be taken seriously or anything. I only made it in a few minutes. But I think it really displays a few uh, sniping spots that hardly anyone uses, but they can be really effective. Now, I think the most important criteria for good sniping spots is... Uh, Good visibility, but only for you. If your enemy can see you, it's it's not a good spot. And a lot of these spots are actually pretty high up, but uh, not a lot of people suspect them. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, first we're going to check out my favorite sniping spot in the entire game, probably. And even though it's really visible, a lot of people don't know that you can get up there with an APC. And, like I said, even though it's very visible, it provides a lot of good cover at the same time. So, the pod goes really high in this area, so we should be able to get on it really easily. Alright, I'm just gonna drop some APMs down to make sure that anyone who pods up after me, if they find me, will probably get caught by them. Now, as you can see, you can see probably much, uh, pretty much every point on the map from here. You'll be exposed looking at the other silos, but at least for these three, the, those two there and the one in the middle are pretty safe bets. Uh, you can also go up here and see the other two silos, but you should really bring active camo with you because it'll help you a lot against enemy air vehicles and snipers and whatnot. And like I was saying, there's a lot of cover so you should stay prone most of the time. Uh, stick out as little as possible and make your kill. And even though I don't have uh, the stock rifle equipped, you should use it because it's a lot quieter, it doesn't have a tracer round, and I think it has more bullets too, so it's really good for longevity. It's pretty much impossible to put a supply box on there anyway. Alright, here's another one of my favorite spots on Tunis Harbor. You can get up through these boxes here. But make sure you cover your back with APMs because it's accessible to a lot of people. So yeah, not exactly the best places to put them, but I'll do for now. So make sure you stay prone behind this little box here, and you can get a lot of kills without them seeing you. Alright, this other point on Operation Shingle. Once again, cover your back with APMs. If the first APM gets uh, set off, then you should really move, because there's someone angry coming after you for sure. Uh, I really like this point because it provides a lot of cover but also a lot of uh, visibility of other areas and you should also stay prone most of the time. I know you shouldn't really stay prone as sniper but if they can't see you it's a really good advantage. And yeah you can see pretty much every point of the map here. Alright, this other point on Suez Canal, very good vantage point, but you have to make sure to bring active camo with you. These APMs will cover your back and they're pretty hard to see by the enemy, so you should be relatively safe up here. You can also go down here on this little ledge to hide behind if someone's after you. You can see a lot of silos from here. It's not really the best point in the map, but it's pretty safe since it's so high up. Make sure you bring active camo though, there's going to be a lot of vehicles on the map, especially on Titan mode, like this. Alright, still on the same map, this is another great point, but you need an APC or air transport to get up there. Lots of good cover, especially those trees and these little boxes here. Should use the stock rifle though, because it can give you away the Zeller. And yeah, lots of good cover, lots of visibility. Uh, you, it's impossible to get a knife pretty much because unless they pot up there, they're not gonna get behind you. And yeah. All right, this is probably one of the most secure sniping areas, but it's very hard to get up there, so you have to practice this. Go prone behind here. You can see the Titan, you can see the base on the right there. And you can also cap the flag if someone's capping it. Just make sure that you don't cap it at the same time so they find you. 
Uh, make sure you might want to also put some APMs in case they come after you, but I, I really doubt that. So yeah, very secure area. Uh, lots of visibility. Really good for long range kills that uh, Wake Islands is known for. But once again, bring the stock sniper rifle. And here's the last one for Wake Islands. I know there's two on Wake Island, but it's a really good level for sniping since there's a lot of long range bases. Uh, might have to practice getting down there, it's kind of tricky. But you can see these two bases, you're relatively safe. And use the stock rifle because the Zeller has given me away in this area. So there you go, these are just a few of my favorite sniping areas in the game. And I would have included a few other ones, but they don't put you in the center of the action as much as these. These not only give you a lot of uh, good visibility, but they give you a lot of potential targets, covering several silos and flags at the same time. And some even prevent you from getting knives, so that's a huge advantage there, even though maybe it's not tactically that huge of an advantage. So yeah, just check them out, and in the comments if you have any more to add, just go ahead. And uh, Thanks for your time.